As the capital may see more of this, a warning that London isn't prepared for extreme weather and climate change. And yellow heat health alerts have been issued across parts of the UK with temperatures set to reach around 30 degrees from tomorrow until Saturday. They cover the East Midlands, East England, London and the South East. Um, good luck. He'll be celebrating his birthday doing a marathon, Riz. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Thanks, both of you, and good luck, Callum. And you can, of course, find more stories from across the capital on the BBC London website. Just search bbc.co.uk forward slash London. Hi, Sally. Thank you. It looks as if summer has at long last arrived. Some of us getting to see some sunshine today and temperatures are climbing. In fact, by the end of the week on Friday, parts of the UK could well get to 30 degrees Celsius. Good afternoon. It seems that summer has returned. We've seen plenty of sunshine today. This was first thing this morning down in the city. Not much cloud around at all. Now, this afternoon, it stays largely dry with those sunny spells and the temperature getting a little higher. Sandy, the only thing we're at risk of lifting over here is uh, the temperatures, because the temperatures are going to be climbing over the next couple of days. And for some of us, yes, there is quite a lot of sunshine out there. That was how it looked in Worcestershire earlier on. We will see increasingly warm, even hot conditions for some by the end of the week. It will be increasingly humid as well. But that's not quite the whole story, because this was the scene on the north coast of Northern Ireland earlier on. A bit more cloud in the mix. Anyway, have you enjoyed the weather? Uh, I'm not a hot weather guy. Oh, look at this. I know Alfie doesn't mind it. This is going to freak you out then, Geraint. Can you see this graphic quickly? These are the temperatures we're getting to this week. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Alfie's <laughs> delighted. He's got his arms in the air. Should we take a look? Here we go. Here's the forecast. Hello again. I hope you had a super day. Well, the sun hasn't been too easy to spot recently and apparently neither are these red starts. And now they're both appearing together. So well done, Pete, Mr. Wing, for uh, spotting that. So our weather over the next few days looking rather lovely, dry and sunny, warm, if not turning hot. So apologies if you don't like it that hot. Uh, by the weekend, it does get slightly cooler. A bit of a breakdown uh, later on Saturday, but hopefully not spoiling things too much. Needless to say, with that lovely weather and those increasingly warm temperatures, those pollen levels are pretty high over the next few days. It might decrease a little bit through the weekend. That's it. Take care. Cheerio. Well, we've seen a little slice of summer again today here, of course, uh, with lots of sunshine around mostly dry temperatures round about the seasonal average for most of us in the late 20s in Celsius. But it's across parts of East Anglia, South East England, where it's going to turn really quite warm over the next couple of days. In fact, it will be too hot for some and it will feel increasingly more humid too across much of the UK, but always cooler, always wetter in the north and the west. And that's certainly the case overnight tonight. We'll well, Elizabeth is back, as is the sunshine, welcomed by many. It certainly is, yes, Riz. Uh, so it's been cool and wet so far this July, but we saw some sunshine today. Temperatures now round about the seasonal average. A very good evening to you. Finally, a slice of summer as we slide through the next few days, feeling warmer and warmer. Temperatures doing so much better than we've seen in recent days and weeks, with more and more sunshine forecast. And we've got the addition of some mild and in places muggy nights.